Alright, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Cool Guy Media, and today we'll be showing you how to install mods onto Minecraft. Specifically, for, the, for this um, tutorial, I'll be using Minecraft 1.7.10. Anyways, it'll work with mo most of the m versions of Minecraft, just need to get forged in mods. So let's begin. First up, open your browser over here. Now, go on over to Minecraft Forge, which I have loaded over here. Now, download the version of Forge for your specified version of Minecraft, and you should already have Minecraft um, running with a directory and uh, .minecraft server. So, here we go. Over here, we've got 1.7.10. Now, you should do download the recommended one but add the, inst the installer over here so download this and then wait for the um, add so which will usually happen so that you can then if you're on Firefox save the file and then yes should be downloaded yep all right there we go and uh, and that's forge done all right it'll Forge over here, double click the file, and then install client. And I don't need to do that again because I already have mods installed. So, yes, just install this, click OK, and you're good. And if you want to make a server with the mods, just do server. Make sure you've got the actual files ready for a server, and then you're good. Anyway. Now, once you've got the uh, forge running, n now you'll need to get some mods. First off, here's Optifine. Uh, you can download Optifine for your uh, specific version. In this case, I'm going to be downloading 1.8.9. Download, mirror, and then save file. Download over here, and good to go. And anyway, over here is the Optifine file. Actually, I'll need to install that, so let me do it real quick and show you how to do it as well. So, double click the file, make sure you already have the actual version of Minecraft for this Optifine running, or have run it at least once. Click install, and you're good. And then let's open up Minecraft to see how it goes. Alright, it'll be named Optifine, and then you can click play, and yes, now be, you'll be good to go, and you can adjust your settings and um, other things to your liking that have the best performance in Minecraft. Alright, that's done. So let's go back to your browser. Alright, here's a mod called Plans Mod. Now you'll need to download the... This mod has a lot of content that you can download for it, so yeah, it's very, um, very diverse mod. So click the version for the, for the appropriate version of Minecraft, download it, and then save file and then here it is and then it looks like I need to close this out there we go now over here get the flans mod now you'll need to do something different so you'll need to go all, nav navigate onto your .minecraft folder which will be um, to search in percent app data percent and then you'll get into roaming folder and go into dot minecraft you'll see a mods folder over here go into that and then drag this on no wait not the forge drag the flans mod file into it so yes now actually it might as well uh, you'll just drag it onto here and you need to find it file so I can where okay same version so I don't need to update it so in that case just drag and drop and you'll be good to go and then you'll need to run minecraft and it'll take a second edit and then your full it'll be called forge so yes just run that and hopefully it doesn't crash as long as you have it configured correctly It'll take a second. All right. We'll be constructing the mods. It'll take a little bit, depending on how many mods you have. 
as you can see, I have a bunch of mods installed. So, yes. It'll take a little bit. And, uh, yeah, this will be... This will be um, burying mods and running Minecraft, so just be patient if it takes a while. Anyway, it's nearly complete over here, so yes, as you can see, Minecraft ran good, and just you can check out how, which mods you have by checking it out over here. So yeah. Anyway, Flans mod, there. When you would st install a standalone mod, there's no content but the default stuff so you'll need to go on to the actual um, huh, website and download content packs <clears throat> so yes what did I have what one of these are great mm, um, content packs you'll need to install this one for most of them and then I recommend modern weapons pack if you like weapons and and yeah you can just search or look around it'll be and look for one that's compatible with your version of Minecraft so download this as it's a requirement and might as well get this and then wait for the usual ad lie because it'll support the, uh, the makers of these nice mods so yes let me close this real quick and then download that and save it and over here and then let's go back to the website and then go to content pack so they can download the modern weapons pack and then over here or as I said earlier I'm using 1.7.10 for mods so yes and then mm, you'll be and then just uh, download files and yes here we go <clears throat> so here you go the content packs now you'll need to navigate back to your uh, your minecraft, minecraft folder app data so you'll need to go back to that, the roaming folder dot minecraft and then you'll need to go down to this this folder it says flan as you can see I already have these mm, these ones over here so I don't need to install it but you just simply drag and drop them into here so yes and then you'll just run minecraft and then you'll be good to go and yes so here's one more example found there's an installer very easy to do and to in for installing mods if you Usually I'd go to this website called skydaz.com, you can see over here, and then, yes, download the exe, save the file, and no, it doesn't have a virus or anything, and then, yes, just run it, just run the actual hmm, installer, and yes, and actually this mod is one that I'm going to be installing right now, so here you go. Make sure it's set to forge, install it. No, I don't need to back it up. But you you might as well do it. And then here you go. It's easy. It does the same process as dragging and dropping the mod files into the mods folder. So you'll need to run Minecraft. Run the forge uh, profile. And then wait for the actual game to initialize. So yeah. Let's see how the oh came with a few extra mod and it just crashed. Yeah, this th this is one thing that happens a lot in you're installing mods, so just be aware of that. But yeah, if you got a bad mod or something that's mm, doing some messing up the initialization, just if you got some sort of installer, just click on install remove the mod and you'll be good to go but yeah it takes some time to see which mod actually um, cause a few issues but yeah but <laughs> luckily uh, websites like skydaz do have some um, warnings and uh, stuff about any 
uh, any sort of a mods that it's incompatible with and then sometimes some mods do have um, problems with the IDs so yeah might, might do a tutorial to fix the ID issues but yes anyway that pretty much wraps it up about installing mods so yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video